Well, hello, 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 ladies and gentlemen, and welcome, welcome back to Foundation. I certainly hope you're having a wonderful day because I'm certainly excited to be back. Things are going pretty well, honestly. I really can't complain. We're sitting on so many resources, so much food except fish. We have storage everywhere. We have people doing the jobs that we need them doing. I'm honestly just really happy with how things are going so far. I know it is a bit slower than season one, but I'm I'm really enjoying it. So hopefully you are as well. First thing I want to do is turn immigration back on because we want to keep the population growing. We do have the... We have enough space for, I think it was... 110 people in the churches so we can keep people moving in i think we have enough food to manage 110 people as well not that i'm gonna you know rush anything but i i think we could manage speaking of food and speaking of fish i do want to do two things today the first thing i want to do is get more fishing huts so i'm gonna throw a fishing hut right here and i'm gonna throw a fishing hut right in well, maybe right in here. I'm thinking of doing a bridge here, honestly. So instead, I think we'll do a fishing hut up here. And we could probably get another one just in here. So that's what, one, two, three more fishing huts? That seems like a pretty good number. Let me get myself a wooden bridge constructed as well. So that's going to be going pretty much, uh, pretty much there. And we want to just drag that out over to this island. And the reason we're dragging it out over to this island is because I kind of have this idea that I think would be fantastic to um, basically have this island over here be where we do not just a castle thing. I would like to do a castle, but I don't think that's... I, I don't know if that's what we'll do. We might do a castle on this island over here or, you know, maybe this little island over here if we ever get there. I, I'm not going to plan that far ahead. I don't really think there's much point because this island could be really useful for other things. And those other things could be fishing, basically. It could be all the resources that we have on this island, the stone, the berries, the fish, you know, all of that stuff. So 500 planks on a bridge here, that's no problem. We'll start that construction in a little bit. I want to prioritize the fishing huts though because people are a little bit unhappy that they don't have fish in their diet. They want the fish. They're desperate for fish. So hopefully we can give them some fish. While that's all going on, I also want to go to these markets. And I want to say this one's going to have a red tent. Because it sells berries. So, uh, red tent. Start construction. This one over here sells fish. So it's going to be... Uh, let me see here. Edit and get rid of you. Edit and get rid of you. Let me close that one. Uh, let's see. We want to go for a blue tent on this one because, you know, fish. And I think we'll put some of the barrels back in there because I do like the barrels. I think it's a nice little bit of detail. So a couple of barrels just sort of... Uh, sort of like that should do the job. And then maybe just sort of there as well. For, uh, again, just that little bit of detail. Just that little bit of something that makes it look that little bit better. I think we'll also go ahead and just throw a fence right there. So we'll start construction on all of that. We'll get the we'll get the tent put on there. Uh, this one right here, I think, is a fish vendor as well. So it's going to be a blue tent. Start construction. And then you right here are berries. So that's going to be a good old red tent right there. Start construction. All right. So none of that's going to take too long to do at all. Even the fishing huts will be done pretty quickly. And I really do hope this works. I really do hope we can get the... We can get enough fish to keep everyone happy. Because I did think a little bit between episodes about maybe just cheating. And that is an option, but it that feels like... Well, it feels like cheating, basically. It is cheating. It's, it's, it's frustrating, though, because it's right there. It'd be so easy to do. It would be so easy to forget about... You know, the fact that we're cheating, you know, just put down the forbidden zone and be like, ah, oh, you know, lots of fish. Hey, we're okay. So it's, it's, it's tricky. It's tempting, but I don't think we'll do it yet. I think we'll try and take on this challenge and see if maybe we can actually make this work by just having a lot of fishing huts. That's the hope, at least. I'm also thinking I'm going to, um, I am going to put a little bit of forbidden land in here. So just there, 
and just there because I want to make sure that the the bridge is handled uh, correctly. So we're going to take the uh, extraction zone off of there just like that. Well, actually, it can stay at that bit. Actually, the extraction zone can stay. It's the reforestation zone that needs to go there. So just rip that out of there and we should be good. And that'll hopefully mean that the path to the bridge is actually a nice straight path and not something going all weird like. Also, this is done. Do we have anyone unemployed? We do. You can go ahead and work there. And then this one is done as well. We can get you working in there, Rudolph. So hopefully that'll give us enough fish. I mean, they're living close enough to the huts that I think, I think it'll work. I hope it'll work. I really hope it works. I really hope this helps with the uh, the happiness because I'd like it to keep happiness. I'd like it to be 90. I'd like it to be 90 plus and I'd like it to stay there. So hopefully that's a thing we can do. The markets are getting completed, which is lovely news. But I'm thinking that... I'm honestly thinking we need another sawmill because I'm pretty sure, yeah, the sawmill is full and the warehouse is full. So let's let's get another sawmill. I mean, we can get two, we can get three people working in there. Uh, let's go for sawmill. I mean, we have enough logs to make this work as well, so I, I don't see why not. Uh, we can go ahead and just sort of throw it, honestly, there. I think we just throw it behind the other one. I'd, I'm I'm honestly tempted to do this with it, sort of double them up a little bit, hide the uh, hide the planks behind them. That's that's quite tempting. And I think, I think I might just do that. Yeah, let's just, let's just do that. Let's just double up the sawmills. We'll get two of them. That'll give us so, so many, so many planks. And uh, I guess let's start construction on the bridge as well. That shouldn't take too long to do at all. I mean, we, we don't have the resources for it, but I imagine we'll get them pretty quickly. I, I can't imagine it's going to take too long to uh, get the things needed for all of this. I'm also wondering, yeah, villagers have stopped using this little road here. This little path that goes to the market there. They're not using it anymore. That's fair enough, I suppose. Where is Victoria? That's my question. So where, oh, you're there. Okay, so you're still able to get to the market, no problem. That's good. I was a little bit worried that she might be blocked in. She isn't. Everything's good there. So that's lovely. As for up here, we do actually need another sheep farmer. So, I'll tell you what, Juliet's a woodcutter. Juliet's not a sheep farmer. Uh, then here, what can we do? What can we do? Um, Isabel is a transporter. Isabel works in here moving cloth. Okay. The lumber camp here isn't super important right now. I think the sheep farm's more important. So, let's go one, two, three, four, five, six... Seven, eight, nine, ten of them. That'll give us enough sheep to uh, to really keep this weaver's hut busy. And to be fair, we are almost fully stacked on a warehouse of uh, cloth here, so no complaints on that front either. Can we can we sell cloth? Is that a thing? We're still trying to buy it right now. Let's um, let's sell it when it's over. Honestly, over fifty, we could probably sell. I don't know if we're actually gonna be able to do that, but. We can we can sell it. I don't think that's that's too big of a deal. No, you know what? Let's let's stockpile. We're actually we're doing okay on money. I don't think there's any rush to uh, to do any of that either. Now let's see. Anything in here? We have the wooden keep that we can unlock. That is going to give us a quest to build a wooden keep, and that will unlock the option for soldiers and all that stuff. But I think, honestly, even though I said I'm not going to build a castle on this island, I might hold off, buy a tile, and then build the keep over here. I might just do that. Or we could just build the keep up here. That's an option too. But I'd kind of like a clear space for it. You know? I'd, I'd like something kind of nice for it. Put some residences around it. All that kind of stuff. Get some food over here. Have the keep be self-sufficient. Alternatively, we just tear down a couple of houses here and put the keep right in the middle opposite the church. I suppose that's technically an option too. And that's actually quite tempting, annoyingly. And I say annoyingly because I don't know how good of an idea it would be to tear down those houses. But I... Th well, no, we have berries right there as well. I kind of want the keep to be a little bit away from the berries. The market could be there. The keep could be there. I think that's a better bet than just 
going all in on, on tearing things down here. So I think we'll be okay. Let's take a look at happiness. We actually have two villagers lacking housing, one lacking food. We have some fish in a stockpile, which is beautiful news. So I think what we'll probably do is... We'll probably get another couple of fishing huts, and that'll probably keep us pretty good for a while. It looks like maybe maybe 10 to 12 of them would be enough. I don't know. It's, it's tricky. It's a tricky balance with fishing huts because they are so inefficient. Like, one of them is just no good. You need 12 of them to feed 60 people, which makes sense. I mean, we have, what, one, two, three, four, four. Well, we have four gathering huts for 60 plus people. Technically, we have six, but these two aren't actually working, so... I don't know. Maybe I'm just bitter and old and a little bit too comfortable with the gathering huts. That's that's a possibility. Now, we did just hit 500 gold, and I've got the game paused here whilst we've hit that because I've actually just had an idea that I might buy this tile here. Now, this tile's not all that useful. There's no stone on it, and there's no berries on it. At least not that I can see. No, nope, there's nothing on it. But it could be good for our keep. You know, maybe build the keep behind the warehouses. It would also let me expand the warehouses a bit so we can store more uh, more logs, more planks, more of everything. That's actually very tempting. And I think, as much as it might make sense to buy this tile here, I think I want this one. Because if we do this one, we need to get people over there, we need to get them living there. So I think this one up here might be the better bet. So, boom. We're buying that tile. And we're going to... We're going to unlock the keep. There we go. All right. So now what we got to do is... There we go. We're going to have to... Um, We don't actually get... We get luxuries for this. We don't actually get... Well, I suppose the keep does give us the mission to send out soldiers. So we'll build a keep. That's fine. Let's just make sure that this entire area is, a, uh, is an extraction zone. Because we are going to want to uh, get rid of all of the resources in there, I think. Which actually has me thinking, well, no, we're not going to need to put another another lumber camp there, I don't think. Let's instead go for warehouse. We don't have the money for a warehouse, but that's fine. We should get it shortly. Uh, nope, money is, uh, is dropping, actually. Okay, there, it's coming back up. There we go. Now we've got money. So, warehouses like this, this is actually going to be slightly tricky to double it up because of the way I've done them. If I had them facing the other direction, it would be easy. Uh, so what I'm going to have to do is line it up as roughly as I can. Which is basically going to be right about there, I think. I think that's probably as good as it's going to get. So place one there. Yeah, that is about as in line as I'm going to get there with these. And we're just going to place another bunch of them. That's, that's basically the plan here is just to place... A, a whole bunch of warehouses. And this is just going to double up the uh, the storage abilities, really. That's that's all this is going to do for us. Not that we need to do this for every resource, but I'd like to do this for most of them, at least. So let's get the money. And there we go. All right. So that gives us room for five more warehouses. Then the keep itself can sort of go back here. We're going to need to do some forbidden zoning to uh, fix the roads a little bit. That's for sure. But that's... Not too much of a big deal. But what I want to do is have more space for logs. I want more space for polished stone. More space for... Yeah, logs, polished stone, and what else? Uh, planks. There we go. That was a that was a word I was looking for there. Good old planks as well. And I think I'm also going to say this area can have some residential space in it. To be completely honest. So, let's just do... Let's just do this. We'll do something kind of, kind of rough here. So, like that. Well, maybe a bit more bit more in that direction. There we go. And then, yeah, the keep can sort of be back there. That'll, that'll work out quite nicely, I think. So, let me go straight across here. Let me go straight up that road. And that seems pretty good for residential zoning. Keep over here-ish. Residential in there-ish. That should be, that should be pretty decent. Let's just shop that a little bit. Ever so slightly. There we go. I think that'll work. Hopefully we can get people living in there. Hopefully we can get the warehouses done in no time at all. I mean, they do use planks and the bridge is going to use planks as well. So that's going to keep 
all of my builders quite busy for a little while, but I think we'll manage. Well, the warehouses are done, which is beautiful news. We actually have a decent amount of stuff being stored in them already. I expect this one here to fill up very, very quickly. It's already, it's already got one full stack in there, so I can't imagine it's going to be long before it gets another. We actually have another full stack. <laughs> nice. So yeah, lumber is going to be no problem. It looks like polished stone is going to be no problem either, so... I think we're gonna be, we're gonna be pretty busy by the looks of it. Planks are definitely something that's letting us down a little bit, although, I mean, most of those really are going into the bridge over here, which, I mean, it needs another 89 planks, but that's, that's fine. It'll, it'll, it'll get there in time. It'll be done. It's not, I mean, it's not going to anything. We don't have a tile over there, so whatever, I suppose. What do you want? You want berries? Who could we help with this? I guess we help the clergy. We've done nothing for them yet, so we'll help the clergy. Why not? Um, we can... We can't actually stockpile berries, I realize. Um, that's awkward. Yeah, I realize for this, we actually need to stockpile berries. Okay, stockpile some berries then. Let's put them in there for a minute. This is a terrible idea. I don't want to do this. I don't want to put berries in my, uh, in my warehouse, but... Sure, why not? I guess, I guess we can do this and hope that, uh, hope that they do find their way in there pretty quickly so that I can, uh, deal with them pretty quickly. Cause I, I would, I think some clergy points is probably a, a pretty solid idea. To be honest, I, I just think that might be a, a pretty solid idea because we can immediately go in and get the, the add-ons for the church then hopefully eventually get ourselves the church itself. We actually have the, we have the splendor, right? I have no idea. I guess technically we do. Uh, we don't have any berries in there right now though. So hopefully we can, hopefully we can throw some in there. Let me see, what are you doing right now? You're on a transport mandate, okay. All right. So you are, looks like you're heading to your warehouse. Okay. Can I see what you're carrying? I can. Okay. That's fine. Please. It is enough. There we go. Okay. So that'll work. We are no longer storing berries in there. We can go ahead and dump those. And let's see then. So give me the add-ons for the rustic church. And I guess... Oh, we have 19.6 Splendor. We don't have 20 itself. Okay, that's fine. Well, I mean, we're going to need another church at some point anyway, so that's no big deal. We can we can, we can, can get another church at some point. Happiness is, is okay. Where? Oh, it's these. Oh, there's actually a few people around here waiting for a house. Fair enough. There's actually a few people up here as well. Does that mean that I can get someone working here? No, it doesn't. What about here? No, it doesn't. Okay. I guess the bridge is taking up most of our most of our production at the minute. That's fair enough. I mean, it's it's nearly done. It needs 31 more planks. We have 15 in storage. I think I think we'll be able to manage there. No one unemployed that can work in the sawmill. That's a shame. That's I really I really want to get the plank production going. I also really want to get people working in, in all of the warehouses as well, except this one. This one's probably going to be trade. Although I guess this one's technically trade, isn't it? I'll tell you what. Let's say that this one can have... I mean, this, no, this one is just a trade warehouse. I guess it can just permanently be tools at this point. Not that we're ever going to buy 200 tools, but just a full tools warehouse, because it'll be useful when we come around to making our own anyway, so... I don't see why not. Uh, let me see. We do only have 30 fish in storage. That's a bit annoying. I guess we could go for like one, maybe maybe three fishing huts on this little bit of coast that we have here. That really does put them at a distance away from uh, the warehouses and the markets though. And it does put them at a distance from their houses as well. But well, I guess we'll see what happens. You're bringing over seven planks. Okay. 10 more after that and it's done. I'm getting excited. 
I don't know why I'm getting excited. The bridge is going to make no difference to us whatsoever, but I'm getting excited. Well, the bridge is done, and we have two fishers' huts going up on this side of the bridge as well, which is fantastic news. I've also gone ahead and added a few more people to work at this stonecutter camp up here, which wasn't entirely necessary because we are pretty much maxed on the amount of stone we have anyway. We're also pretty much maxed on polished stone. But with that said, I would very much like to make sure that we always have at least the means to make a, uh, a lot of polished stone. So I'm very tempted, actually, to uh, put another warehouse in here, which will be responsible for at least holding just regular old stone. Because that's what this one is here. It's just storing stone. And I think that's fine. But I think another one could be uh, could be quite useful. So we'll throw a second warehouse in there for stone, meaning this thing can keep on working. These can store it, and these guys can keep on making it into things. We could probably do with another stonemason hut. And I think I will throw another one of those in here. It's just going to be a little more tricky. I think it might have to be back here on this road. So we'll do, uh, we'll do a stonemason hut back there for uh for another job there because there's actually a lot of people in this area that are unemployed right now which has me think oh my god we can get another stone okay we can get a lot of stone cutters here as well that's a little bit ridiculous but okay this is going to uh this is going to keep things interesting that's definitely going to keep things interesting that's just going to give us even more stone which is kind of nuts Anyway, this fishing hut here is done. We have Catherine that can work here. She's apparently unemployed, so go right ahead. Hopefully, you live relatively close by. You do. You live in that house, which is a little bit of a distance. You have to kind of walk out and around here, but it's that's not so bad. That's not the worst thing in the world by any stretch of the imagination. So hopefully, uh, hopefully these two huts will help us a lot with fishing around here. The other hut is done as well, so let's go and say Henri can work in that one. And I'm honestly thinking of putting another two gathering huts out here. Again, not that we desperately need them, but I'm noticing that the berries seem to be staying underneath 400 quite a bit. So I think a gathering hut right there, and then one behind it, could be a, could be a pretty decent idea. So right there, we can go ahead and prioritize it. We'll get it done in no time at all, and we'll get another one behind it. Uh, over this way, these gathering huts, I would love... Oh, actually, we do have some unemployed people. Okay. We're also getting into the weird names. There's actually a mod to fix that that I've... Um, I've had a few different people send me, actually, so we might... We might look into getting a mod to fix the, uh, the weird naming thing. But this will start giving us more berries. I realize that... There isn't a market near those ones, which might be a little bit tricky. I wonder if I should put a market up there. I'm actually quite tempted. Because we do have residential zoning kind of nearby, so I think a market... A market up here could be an idea. The only problem is getting someone that works there. Let's experiment a little bit. Let's see what happens with that. Uh, as for this warehouse, we can go for Oliver working in there, and it is just going to be for... Just regular, regular old stone right there. So we'll get that into storage. This gathering hut is done as well. So let's say you can work there. You can work there. And you can work there. And that'll give us three gathering huts in this one little area, which will give us so many berries. I mean, this thing can hold a hundred on its own, I think. So we're probably in a uh, pretty comfortable spot. In terms of fish, the number we have in storage is definitely rising. The happiness is staying relatively consistent as well. So that has me feeling pretty good. So I guess we go ahead and start working on the uh, working on the keep, right? That seems like the, uh, the right thing to do. I mean, I would like to get walls, but we're not going to do that anytime soon. So let's just start working on the, uh, let's start working on the keep, I suppose. We'll get the core in here. We'll get everything we need. And uh, honestly, I'm thinking it is probably going to go like here, sort of looking out over the warehouses. So that's about, that's about central there. So right about, I'm thinking, uh, I'm thinking that spot. So right there, 
We want to get our door on there. I don't like this one. I do like the covered one. Gonna raise it up a little bit. That's maybe a little bit too tall, but I think... I mean, what? That, so that's normal height. I think... I think there's pretty good. Just a little bit taller. Not necessarily the tallest building around here. And then this on top of it, of course, makes it that bit taller. Then we can get the flag on top of it, which apparently I just... I did just place in the floor. Let's put it up there. So let's see. The keep needs to go about there. I think that looks all right. Like, it's a good... It is a good tall building. I think maybe a little bit taller. I think that's pretty good. Makes it taller than churches, or at least taller than that one, and makes it stand out nicely above the treetops. That seems perfect to me. Let's get some training dummies and just throw those sort of around it a little bit here. We'll go for, uh, I think we'll just go for behind it as we usually do. So we'll go for, uh, we'll go for one. We'll go for uh, two. And we'll go for three. All right. We have the means to build it, so let's start construction on the keep and get that done as soon as we possibly can. I do want to put some walls around it. I think I probably will put a market out there as well. We'll probably put the, uh, we could actually put the Lord's Manor out there too. We could absolutely do that, like maybe build it into the side of the keep a little bit. We might have to do that. We might actually have to do that, but we'll wait until the keep's done so we can see what we're working with here. I hadn't thought of that. I actually, I, I totally blanked on that. So I guess we'll see what happens. Uh, happiness is actually at 90. That's beautiful. Let's see if we, have we got everyone? I guess we have everyone working around here, man. We've got all the woodcutters. We've got the gatherers. I guess we could throw another gathering hut there. Anyone able to, uh, to work here? You're unemployed, so you can work in that one. And then this one we have... Female 985, you can work in there. So yeah, food production's nearly... A f we've almost got 500 berries. That's exactly what we want. We've got, we've got 70 fish. We have so much stuff in storage right now. This is exactly, exactly what I was wanting. This is perfect. We're also so close to having the keep done already. Well, I say done. It's the, pr the progress, not so much. The materials. The materials are nearly there. So that's gonna be that's gonna be a beautiful sight. I'm actually quite excited to see what we can do with it and the uh, and the Lord's Manor. But ladies and gents, we're gonna have to find out next time what it is we do with the keep in the Lord's Manor because that's gonna do us for today. Thank you very much for watching. It's been my absolute pleasure as always. And as always, I'll see you next time. Bye bye.